I'm Tiffany A. Henyer of Dalton, Illinois. In this video, we'll look at how to pronounce Chicago and Illinois. Il -i -noi. Illinois. Hey there, besties. Guess what? Big Tiff just ended her Thornton Township board meeting. Oh my God. It took less than 15 minutes for her to come out, have the same speech, say the same crap, do nothing different. I do everything. We have a surplus. The residents this. The people need to get paid. I pay the water bill. I pay the light bill. Child, this is, this is just deja vu. And she was late, of course. And then she came, she saw, she conquered, she left, she on her way to Dalton, which probably will be an issue. show. But here are the highlights. Um, our township was 20% uh, of our township knew about the services here, and 80% did. Now it is literally worse. It is 80-20. Over 80% knows that Thornton Township exists, and 80% knows that they can come here and get services from us, such as your light bill pay, gas bill, water bill, and so forth. Um, so even help you with your bills, even help you with your rent, and even help you with your utility bills. Thornton Township knows that they exist, and 80% knows that they can come here and get services from us, such as your light bill pay, gas, water, um, even help you bury your loved ones. There's so many different things we do, but yet yeah, don't get shadowed on the news. But it's sad that they come for clickbait and not really the true meaning of what a township truly does. So I thank you for filming us, uh, those that do film and put things out. And I just want people to get another side, a positive narrative and not, not necessarily negative. Girl, good night. Pick a bed and go to sleep. I represent union amongst our community. I represent families loving on their kids because we're missing that for today. And I like to showcase that. And I've always shown that whenever you come to uh, one of our events that we host, you always will see family and you will see unity and you'll see every community throughout for a township attend every event we have and when they leave oh my god they're so happy they came because they got to understand what the township does they got to understand that what services we help them with and they sign up for whether it's big bingo tech savvy so any seniors or you ain't got to be a senior any youth that don't know how to use your phones your ipads and things of that nature come to tech savvy we show you how to uh, download your apps. We show you how to use Zoom to call a loved one in another state. And we also show you how to get on Facebook and social media. But we show you those things. And the main big one is teach you how to use your email. A lot of people don't know how to use that. So I just want to point that out. Um, and to my board of trustees, um, I pray that we all have a happy medium moving forward as it relates to things here for a township. Uh, since taking over, uh, we are in a surplus. That's what people fail to tell you. We are in a surplus, and we've been in a surplus for the last two years that I've been here as supervisor. Prior to that, we had a deficit for over 10 years, just about. So if you don't believe me, go do the research. I know we put documentation out. I know we only gave documentation to the 2017, because that was online. But you go back further, and you will see that Thornton Township was in a deficit. But in taking over, we created a surplus. And it's shameful that people don't give us our credit to show that, hey, we're doing a great job up here. Um, I know people love that. So I know misery needs company. I need people to see the facts and want the truth and not just clickbait. Because right now, you guys use us for clickbait. And it's sad because we do a lot of great events. On ass that seat. A lot of great services for Thornton Township residents that they didn't know exist, but it get overshadowed with the negativity. <laughs> and I don't know nobody that likes all that negativity in their life. You gotta live life. It's a shame that everybody gotta talk about Sydney in you when there's more to life than just talking about Sydney in you. So I pray that this message finds you well, and I pray that the Board of Trustees find in their heart to vote for things um, as it relates to you, residents, because the bills gotta get paid. You come in, you need your light bill paid, gas bill paid. This was on this bills list. When we have events, it's on this bills list. And uh, some trustees say they don't get information. Every trustee up here get whatever information they request. So when they get up here lying about they don't get something, it's not true. They send emails saying they want to meet with us. Uh, we set things up. We set time aside for our staff and trustees to meet with people. And they don't show up. So when we start talking, I just want everybody to tell the whole truth. Not half of what you want people to believe, but tell the whole truth so you can understand the part they play in the mess. Because right now, uh, I'm going to let all the rest because I'm tired of the back and forth and, hey, they doing this. No, it's not true. The township is doing great. And I commend my staff for everything y'all have done. And, again, I apologize that the last board meeting, uh, y'all didn't get paid. So I thank y'all for staying on board. Thank you, Emmanuel. Your heart, my heart went out to you and your family because I knew that you really needed 
uh, your pay that you work for. So thank you. Uh, Y'all give it up for the staff because without them, it's okay. so thank you, Especially you, Tanika. Thank you, G.I. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the food pantry, thank you, thank yeah, you, everything yeah. you do. If you need food or you need things like that, please reach out. They in the crowd, they in the audience. You ask them questions. No one's running from anybody or anything. We have been nothing but transparent here at Thorn Township. So again, thank you, staff, for just standing in the fire as it relates to Thorn Township. Thank you. That concludes my supervisor. Okay, go ahead. Um, we don't care what it is that Jerry Jones has to say. You heard what she just said. Same old crap, different daggone day, but she not going to put up with this no more. She's sounding a little feisty around here. And if she's going to take this feistiness on over to this daggone Dalton meeting, there's going to be some fireworks over there. This is half damn crazy. How the hell is she going to come back from vacation and be acting like this and talking to people like this? What are we clapping for? Like, what, what are we clapping for? Is this showtime at the damn Apollo? This woman is crazy. I don't understand what, how y'all can take it. I can't take it, and I don't even live here. I'm just so confused right now. How's she going to be so damn defiant? Then you got Heavy D's bigger, younger brother sitting up there in the first damn seat. And then no public comment? Well, that's good. That's actually good. There's no need to comment because ain't ish y'all can say that's going to make no bit of damn difference. But the all damn dassy, this biatch to be late, then to sit up here and lay people out like she usually does and then turn around and talk about what she not going to put up with. She just talked about the freaking, uh, the what was it, Justice Right? Ice rink, crappity crap, and the party and the carnival. Bitch, how come people ain't getting paid? Why are you not talking about that? Where the money reside? Why is she not talking about that? Because she ain't going to talk about this ish. Now she's going to take this attitude on over to Dalton, and that's about to be a daggone mess. But y'all see, this is crazy. I, I can't. I don't know how y'all stand it. I see that the adult meeting has just started. I'm about to go over there and watch y'all. Obviously, let me know what you think. Make sure you comment. Make sure you subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Because y'all got false narratives out there, and y'all should be ashamed of y'all stuff. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Superman. You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail, Gatto. Unass that seat. Unass that seat unasked that seat to express my deepest gratitude to tiffany henyer and her team for their commendable efforts to better our community Just come here <laughs> shut your stupid ass up. <laughs> say that fuck your, your man say it